Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. So I'm doing a general reading. Wow, the cards are already popping out. <laughs> That's interesting. We'll put these aside and look at that. It feels like there's a disruptive energy. So let's get right to your reading. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Takes you right to my book online page. Thank you so much for all your comments and likes and sharing so we can grow this community. I really appreciate all the support. So, uh, it's, it's been quite a journey for me and uh, I couldn't do it without you guys, literally. This is the energy, it's a co-creative experience doing these uh, collective readings. So I couldn't do it without you, without your energy. And yeah, just wanna thank you. Thank you for being here. So let's get to it. The overall energy of your reading is the Page of Pentacles in reverse. This feels like a, a disappearing timeline, a timeline that was too small or was disintegrating, kind of having the imagery um, of just collapsing, falling apart. It feels like uh, you were trying to keep this timeline up, trying to keep it moving, trying to create on a timeline that's collapsing. Wow. Inter oh, it was a timeline that was collapsing because of a, a, a relationship. Interesting. Wow. I get the feeling that there is a lot of resistance and holding on, clinging on to this past timeline because you didn't know anything else. You weren't sure. It feels like that time, what you were learning on that timeline, it almost feels like you thought you were the destructive aspect. Maybe people projected onto you that you're the reason why this timeline is collapsing but it feels like there was just nothing left on that timeline in the past and the reason why it's like your guides were trying to shake you off a timeline shake you away get you off this timeline because there's a better one much better matched for you with um this feels like a dream to you with a star above to have someone love you. Someone um, where you're better together. Not This isn't codependency. This is, uh, it almost feels like a team. So there's an agreement here wow that's really beautiful okay it's interesting it feels like you are ending a cycle not talking to or you've disconnected from that that past timeline it feels like there's someone that you are connected to on that timeline that's disintegrating. Someone, um, either you turned your back on them or they turned their back. They feel cold. They feel inaccessible. Oh, well, maybe this is why. Uh... It looks like this person in your past with the Six of Cups treated you very poorly. 
that they they felt like this type of treatment in this illustration was acceptable and it feels like they gaslit you to make you feel like well aren't you lucky that you're even here why are you complaining i think you're exaggerating you are making a mountain out of a mole hill so it's a lot of gaslighting like you should be happy in this and really it feels like kind of behind the six of cups energy is the five of swords someone who needs to win at any cost that's what it feels like the timeline that you're leaving behind has these energies on it boy this is this there's a lot around this past energy that you're that's crumbling that you're leaving behind let's look it it also these cards that popped out at the very beginning with the ten of swords and the six of swords it looks like there was a lot of betrayal uh, especially weaponized communication very painful communication withholding of communication um, half truths there, there's a lot of this person feels very covert they feel very intelligent but they use their intelligence in a way to hurt others and it looks like you are or have already moved to calmer grounds calming and healing your nervous system let's ask about this two of cups so we feel like we're getting a clear picture of what you've what you're escaping, your exodus. Again, we're getting more about the exodus. It feels like the energy now, I'm not getting more about what the Two of Cups is. I'm getting more of what you're leaving behind. It looks like for some of you, you haven't quite left this relationship, this person. It feels like you're still planning. You haven't like left the house. You haven't really taken the steps necessary. It feels like a lot of planning, but uh, um, not taking action. But only you can decide if this is your reading. You're not going to make a decision from someone else's point of view or their time it's your time it's when you are ready and you will know this because it, it will be like a loud like that's it wow I just I just hit my limit I just found it that's it it feels like um, you have a very high tolerance to tolerate a lot of really poor behavior and um, for each person that limit is different and it feels like you're getting to that limit for some of you it feels like um, you're preparing you're getting ready for taking action on leaving this timeline behind wow all right hidden blessings is justice Libra energy this feels like um, what's happening is happening for you it's it those cards are kind of what's happening is happening for you it's hard to believe that because it, it this justice comes with a lot of pain a lot of um, clarity that's painful a lot of seeing maybe uncomfortable truths wow okay oh yeah it does look like you're ending this painful cycle of ten of swords that communication that betrayal justice is you focusing on this new timeline this feels like the energy 
of you on this new timeline. You're nurturing something into existence. You have everything that you need. You have the resources and you also have the focus with the falcon or hawk on her antlers that there's some type of focus that you have. You're very grounded in this abundance. It feels like you are very focused on what you're bringing in. You're loving it and nurturing it into existence. Wow. Wow. The, ex the fleeting timeline versus this new timeline feels so much better. With the Three of Cups, it feels like you're celebrating. It feels like you have friends. feels like you're... The original Three of Cups is, are these people coming together to celebrate a harvest. And that's what it feels like. With the waterfall in the background, it feels like there's a so much abundance coming in, pouring in, plenty. That's what's hidden. What's hidden, I feel like... What's hidden isn't hidden from you. I feel like you recognize that, that, but it, it feels like others are not seeing the blessings or ha haven't really seen the full expression of what you've been creating. Maybe you haven't either. Wow. Very interesting reading. All right. What you're leaving behind is the moon in reverse. So the moon is unconscious energies, unseen, unconscious, hidden emotions. It feels like what was hidden is coming to light. And what was hidden maybe to you, maybe unconsciously you weren't able or willing to see things as they were. And you're leaving behind a lot of confusion, a lot of people consciously, purposely communicating in ways. This feels especially the communication betrayal energy is what I'm tuning into. And it feels like you're leaving behind Ooh, some of you to stay in this really uh, difficult relationship in the past you had to purposely kind of blind yourself from these feelings from these emotions some of you are um, have a lot of hidden resentment coming to the surface. So much frustration and resentment towards this person that you never expressed while you were in the relationship. It feels like if you are having a lot of anger come up, first I wanna let you know that your feelings are valid. Your feelings are valid. Whatever you're feeling, whenever you're feeling them, they are valid. It doesn't mean that they mean this, this, this. It means that your emotions, when you have a, an intense emotional response to something, that indicates this. something needs my attention. I need to look at this, not react from that in that charged energy it allows you to see there's something there's something going on and it feels like in the past when that those intense emotions would come up you're gaslit into believing there's something wrong with your perception with your there's something wrong with your emotions instead of validating your experience. So it looks like 
you're learning how to validate your own emotions, validate your own experience. Whatever you're feeling, instead of getting mad at yourself or trying to push those bad feelings away, it feels like, ooh, what is this? Getting curious, getting an emotional IQ. Mm, where am I feeling it? I'm feeling it in my heart space and kind of my upper belly. So that's kind of solar plexus and heart. I feel that I've been disempowered. I haven't really been able to show up fully as myself, a full expression. And I carry a lot of resentment about around that. I kept choosing to stay in a place where I was not uh, um, fully loved, fully allowed to be myself, but I stayed. So maybe I, I should look at why I don't think I deserve better. So you see what I mean? Like, um, I think the first part of waking up to this is acknowledging wow, this person I thought had my back is not, does not have my back. That's betrayal, that's woundedness, that's a lot to work through and process, seeing the truth about someone. But that's not where it ends. A lot of people kind of stop there and stay in victim mode. And me included, me included. So it takes um, some time, some working with the energy being willing to look at your side. Why did I stay? Why did I accept this? What what beliefs did I have that allowed me to stay in this situation that was not very good for me? And once you start seeing your side of what happened, then you can kind of hold both in hold both perspectives and start having a, a wider perspective even more so what were we learning why were we in this relationship what have i learned about relationships about how i relationship what have i learned so I can take that information and go forward and have success. What did I not care, like and do I want to change about not only the relation, how I relationship, but how I show up in relationship. It feels like there's a lot of really good fertile soil here for growth and expansion. How to get the most of this energy? Wow. So Ace of Pentacles I see as seeds. It's a potential, it's opportunity, but it's just like a seed. A seed isn't an apple tree, isn't a fully formed producing apple tree. It's just an apple seed. So there's some new timeline, some new potential that's coming in and it's your job if you want, if this is, it feels like you are already with the Queen of Pentacles showing up twice in your reading. I haven't even gotten to the second one. It looks like you are taking that Ace of Pentacles in both of these images. She's got that Ace and she's focusing her energy, nurturing, loving, watering, giving that seed whatever it needs to um take it to that space where it will eventually grow into something so this is potential an opportunity given by the architect wow ace of cups wow holy cow so this again so this is Potential, again, this is loving potential. With the Ace of Cups, there's a self-love, a need to fill your own cup before you give to others. And it looks like you have a lot to give because your cup is overflowing. So, yes, you are a very generous giving spirit, but remember to only give from a full cup. 
that overflow. It looks like you are cultivating a lot of peace, a lot of harmony, a lot of emotional abundance. You've come to this place because of a lot of difficulties that you've overcome. Wow. It looks like to get the most of these energies, it's focusing, it's at the same time like allowing what is falling apart to fall away. Whatever is old, whatever is no longer uh, the structures in the world, the way things have been, the belief systems, it feels like a lot of these energies are falling apart, but as they're falling apart, there are new structures. And what I'm getting is to focus on these new beginnings. Focus on what you're building. Yes, there's an awareness that things are collapsing <laughs> in this world. Um, a lot of hierarchy, hierarchical, hierarchical structures are collapsing. And I'm gathering that, yeah, I just keep getting this message. It's a very small and succinct message. Allow what's meant to fall apart to fall away and to focus on what you're creating in that new environment. Wow. What's supporting you is this nurturing energy, is focusing on what you're creating, allowing what hasn't worked, what hasn't worked for you, what hasn't worked for the collective to fall away. Focusing on, wow, the messages are very clear. Focus on what you want to create. Nurture it into existence. You have all the resources that you need. This is a very abundant time for you. I get the feeling that you are like um, someone in charge of creating this new timeline. Um, it's all choice. And if this sounds like fun and adventure and what you're really drawn to, then this is for you. If this feels like a chore, then this isn't the right energy. If it feels like an obligation, that's not correct. Yeah. Um, you have free choice. It feels like creating structures in this new energy, in the energy of um, Aquarian energy. There's a lot of timing at hand. And there's a lot that's still hidden. But it feels like, um, it feels like quite an adventure here. Wow. All right. What to be mindful of? The energies to be mindful of is looking at the past. Nostalgia. Yeah, I, um... I think this is more getting stuck in a belief system that the past was somehow better. That there's um, the good old days. And I'm getting that, of course, there were wonderful things that have happened in the past. But if, you're, if there's a, a need to cling to the past, then... You can't create something wonderful and new because there's some type of attachment to the past. Yeah, it's, it looks like, wow, it looks like you are starting a new life. There's the, the life before whatever is happening now, whatever timeline you're focusing on. And then there's this awakening energy. This is very much an awakening energy, seeing things from a different perspective. Yeah, it looks like it's a lot to process that there are people, energies that have not transformed that you have to leave behind feels like there are people that will cling on to a way of being 
onto a timeline no, no matter what. Um, it feels like a lot of these people don't know how or they, they don't know the calling is coming from inside the house. That the kingdom of heaven is within. That what you're seeking is inside you. And that that's the key. And it, from what I gather, it looks like you have found that portal inside, that ability to find your kingdom of heaven within, within your alignment, alignment with your higher self. A lot of times what I've found is people want you to be aligned with a common idea or a belief system, a religion, center something and we can all agree around that and instead it feels like you are centering your alignment so you might believe differently than others around you but it feels like that's okay like we each have our own separate identity our own separate perspective and we can validate that for ourselves and we can also notice like, hey, look, can you look my way and tell me what you're noticing, what you're seeing? Without, um, without an egoic response or reaction or judgment, it feels like we're moving into an era where communication is, where things are moving much faster, where it's very important to be yourself not to copy others, to try to cling to others' agreements, to be the same. It's trusting that weirdness, that Aquarian, I can be myself and be of service to others, which creates fulfillment. So a life of being yourself and being of service to others. So. Wow. All right. That's your tarot reading for today. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day.